Well, hello there. It's good to see you. And yes, I know I look like I've been crying. I have. I've been crying for joy, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> Um, anyway, so don't worry. I actually am fine, but yeah, I'm, you know, considering how much I cried in the last 20 minutes, you'd be stunned that I'm even here. And it's good news. I'm not, I'm not telling you what it is. You'll just have to wait to find out because I need to tell my team about it. It's something that I just found out and I'm only allowed to give a little bit of the details. It has nothing to do with my cancer stuff. That's 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 going fine, and that has nothing to do with that. Other than the fact that, yes, I'm crying a ton these days anyway, but this news would have, oh, I mean, it's, I sent to my son the words, this, uh, this is like, other than the fact, the days that, the when I got married, probably that was more joy, but other than when you guys were born, this is like one of the best things ever, so... Anyhow, God is so good. So I even made a little banner for him. He's going on my my page today on my desk because I just couldn't help just running around the house like, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, God. <laughs> and I wanted to go outside and do um like if I it's raining right now. If I'd had like fireworks and like woohoo all over the neighborhood, but I was still balling anyway. Now, I do want to get to the card thing, and I am doing it. I came in late, but I'm just telling you, it is a miracle that I am here. Today, we are doing Wildflower Designs. Did I not do it backwards? Oh, good. I even got my settings right. Wow, I'm shocked because, yeah, my treatments have made me a little bit uh, loopy, to say the very least. I'm not thrilled with all of that, and that's not going to continue even. It'll be fine. God's taking care of all of that for me. But I am going to be doing that card. This is a stamp set and a die set, but it's unusual. It's cheaper than a lot of things in the st in the catalog. It's not the kind of thing I normally buy now, just because I have so many stamps like this. Um, I bought it for the dies. Um, I suppose I said that in the newsletter today. But I took them, I took the ones that I bought them for out and put them in this container because this is how I store my dies. I have so many, I can't just put them on the wall on a magnet because the people who do stuff like that swell. It looks great. It's very effective and they can see it all better than I do. But um, I'm still very congested from the tears. <laughs> tears of joy. Um, so, um, you know, I... Uh, about a year ago, decided I'm taking all of these. I guess it was when we moved here. I, we're taking, I'm taking all of these out. And um, when something like this shows up in a stamp set, it's going in with other similar dies in this, in my right by my desk. So I just reach over and pull out the stack that's similar and, and quickly leaf through them and find the size I want. Because these are layering dies. Now, I do that with all the layering dies I have now, but I also have other ones in that too because there's not just layering dies. And this is a die set that is really fabulous for those of you who've been doing this even just a couple of years. And the reason is because I don't know if you have the stitched nested dies, but I think this is going to coordinate with it somewhat. It's going to have, so like, they never do things exactly the same. So it might not as well as I think it will, but I think it will, at least the way I'm going to be using it. And then um, also, this is an old hippo and friends. This is from our little stamp set. It had such cute little animals in it, little hippo. That's why it's hippo and friends. It was hippo and other people. And I, you know, they look like people because they're caricatures of animals, people, animals. Um, but they were cute and fun. It had a nice little ribbon slide thing here. It also had this really fun little squiggly. Um, uh, at some point, I should probably move those two pieces. Now, this is long retired. I When they retire, I just scatter them. Scatter them into my collection where I'm going to be using it, most likely, where I'll find it to use it. Um, the problem, it, if you are trying to sell the things that you have collected you keep them all together so that you can sell it as a set, sell it as a bundle, sell the stamps and dies together to set, keep all the stamps together. Now, I I used to take my wood block stamps apart and I'm going to 
do this really quick. You can see some old, that's just a very few. Oops, you haven't gone far enough yet, have you? There, peeking out behind my door. Um, those are some very old wood blocks that I do not give away. And I've got a whole wall of them over here. Uh, and a long, long ago, I just separated them out, of course, because they're retired. And I know I'm not going to get rid of them anyway. So they're separated out. I can't really sell them. It would take me so long to collect them all into a package of it again. So people don't do that. But the problem with not separating things is that once you have, once the item's retired, and if you're selling it, um, if you're trying to get people to buy stamps through from Stamp It Up through you, like I am, um, you 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 lose it. You just lose these. They're in the they're in the they're in with this. Yeah. But do I remember that that stamp? wonderful, I might add, framed layered die thing is in, in here. It's not on the pictures at all. So there's no way for me to remember that. And um, you do initially remember probably for the first two or three years, maybe four, and then all of a sudden you realize you've got so many things that you, you bought that already. Where was that? I don't remember. And you takes you an hour to search through and find. So that does help. And um, And I have never regretted yet doing this. However, that is not to say that I won't regret it one day when we decide to move away from Missouri and I want to sell all my stamps or give them away. My card friend, Marsha, who lives here, thank you so much, Marsha, for being on my team. And just for you to know, if, if, because it isn't something that we probably will do, but if we ever moved, because we love it here, absolutely love it. I love this rainy day. I actually do. I am not kidding because it's a nice rain. It's windy a little bit. Other than that, it's great. Um, it's warm out there. It was cold, so now it's nice and warm. The um, You will be getting a whole bunch of my stuff because I'm not hauling all these stamps everywhere ever again. That, that was the last move <laughs> with stamps. So um, a lot of them might be coming to you if you want them. At some point in time, if anybody want, if my stamp team wants to take a trip out here before we did that, which isn't going to happen anyway, I'm just saying, maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, um, so this is a current product. Today's the, is today the 18th? Because if today's the 18th, huh, when was that stamp sale? I think that was long ago. I thought that was last week. I'm, I'm seriously losing track of time. And, um, and there's a whole lot of reasons for that, but mostly I just didn't really pay too much attention because I already had all the stuff in my catalog that I wanted and, um, made sure everybody that I knew knew that there was that sale. And I didn't even send it out in the newsletter because by the time it got there, you would have ordered from somebody else probably already. Um, if you were a demonstrator, you already knew and were taking advantage of that seasonal sale. Um, so I think that is over, but um, those things aren't gone, you know. I'm, I'm sure wildflower designs didn't disappear. If it's in the not orderable category right now, it will be back. It's a good one. It has this really nice little dotted texture step. Very tiny, but if you're just starting out, things like that are nice. And I want to show you the paper, but I'm going to put the camera down to show you all of that. And it is going to take me just a minute to, um, first of all, it will take me a good long minute just to get my camera to accept its new position. You know, the camera is just like any employee, I guess who when told things are changing and they aren't necessarily for the better, but of course we think they are for the better because we own you, you work for us. Um, when you're told that things are changing and you need to be flexible because they are of course always changing for the good, right? In the back of your mind, you're thinking um, that is subjective, good for you but probably not good for me. Oops, I left my glasses in the other room when I was hurrahing. So let me grab those really quickly and come back. Jeff, is it um, at work today? <laughs> Otherwise, we'd both be right now rejoicing and crying and having our own little whole 
Hallelujah, Lord party. So, um, I'm, I wouldn't even be here if he was not working right now. Um, anyway, I'm trying to get my, my cord up here so it's not dangling in your way. Because I'm going to have to, let me try to re, reconnect my, oh, I turned my camera the wrong way. Okay, hopefully it'll be okay. We'll, we'll see. This is, this has got to be on there because my phone, I think, is not quite hanging on to its charge quite as well. And... When it doesn't hang on to its charge as well. I know you're bobbling around. I'm terribly sorry, but I can't do anything about that. I've got to try to connect you. That's going to fall on my head. And then I need to find on my page where I am blabbing right at this moment. I should have brought some water in for myself because I am going to need it. Mm -hmm. And there. Now I can see how you are in this frame. All right. So I can... Bring this down. Sweet. Excellent. And over. And we'll see how see if that's good. So I played with all of the inks. Um, or not, I mean I brought out all the inks that I'm likely to be using. Oh, I can do this. I've got my angle correct now. I can do all of these things. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I usually am all scrunched over here to the side. Uh -huh. How come I can't hear any sound on my computer? I must have put, oh, I put it down. That's right. Okay, good. I don't need to hear any sound. I just wanted to make sure you can hear the sound. And <laughs> yes, it's taking me a long time. I know. I'm terribly sorry, but um, the problem is I need you up a bit more, but I want to be able to lower you too. Whew. All right. I gotcha. I got you. I think we're I think we're pretty well set. As set as we're gonna be. All right. He's never fails. He's rescuing now. He is. I'm not even gonna put my my website up there today. Very unimportant. All of it. In fact, all of this is very unimportant compared to this. This is why we do cards, ladies. I think almost all of you, most of you, not everyone, but most of you agree with me on that. And um the the reason we do this is so that we can share God's love to people because they don't know him and they would like to. Today I told them, even when I don't know who you are and what you're doing, you are good. Thank you, God. Because <laughs> he is. And I just, things like this that come along that are really good news always makes me realize you think you know him and you just even don't. So just just shut up, okay? Just tell people about him. You don't even have to know him very well. Uh, at all. You have to know Jesus, but other than that, he'll show you, he'll show you better than he has shown me. So I brought out Smoky Slate because we are just stamping today. We're not going to be doing any coloring at all. And I still am not happy with my angle. And so I guess I'm going to have to just let it go. And then, um, <laughs> I'm still having trouble with my cord too. So I don't want to have a dark, super dark image, but I did stamp my ones in the in the newsletter. I did stamp them with black, so I might use them. But I also thought I'm going to pull out some of these other ones and we will try them. There's Smoky Slate. I really like Copper Clay with this. I'm not so sure about the blue. No, the blue is going to want to be with the uh, wild or winter weed or whatever the heck it's called. I brought out an old Sahara sand. I think that's retired, but I kind of like that one. Oh, basic gray. I don't want you. I want. I thought I was getting out Pebble Path. Pebble Path is one of my new favorites. And crumb cake's not bad either, but we'll, we'll get Pebble Path. But copper clay, um, that is definitely... That's my favorite new neutral, and that's my second favorite new neutral, just for you to know. Now, here's the paper. Um, the colors I'm going to use today are balmy blue, and I'm going to pick, I think it's winter wheat. They give you the colors on here. Oh, I covered it up or something, or maybe they don't. They used to. That just says, oh, I've got it in the wrong. <laughs> that's why, because I have it in the wrong... This is actually a whole different, whole different story. Unless I've got the whole thing in the wrong, do I? No, that's so funny. So this, this, this is winter woods, which is not what this is. Um, 
Well, well, what do you know? This is part of the, wi the Wildflower Design Suite. So I'm going to just assume that the, pa the paper is called Wildflower Design DSP. But it would have the color numbers on or names on there. But let me find my ink since I don't even know what color I'm talking about here. Wild wheat, not winter wheat. Winter wheat's good, but this is actually called wild wheat. <laughs> Winter wheat is what I would think of. It's going to be a brown, probably. I don't know. My uh, my grandfather farmed lots of winter wheat, and so um, uh, that's why winter wheat always comes to mind. So um, this is a retired rich raspberry. I'm not sure if I might want to use it, so I bought it out. All right, we've talked about all of the things that I'm going to be using or did. And now in the cards that I made, I did use the nested dies. But I don't know. If, I think they're retired. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so over keeping track of labels of dies like that. Um, now, the, the image ones, I'm going to be accurate and try to show you everything that is current. And then you can always message me if you have a desire to know what something unknown is on my cards. Um, but these ones that are retired, I, I can't, they retire so quick. I was like, I'm, I am not keeping track of these things anymore. I just can't. I don't have, I don't have the brain capacity to keep track of all of those things. And I really, I'm sorry. I really just don't care because I have got everything I want. Um, when new stuff comes that I want, I'm going to get it. And I do not want to keep my joy down from the making of the cards. I don't want to limit it by having to know what all whether things are current or not. Because the chances are, even if you don't have it and you really, really want it and it's retired, you could find it used somewhere. And if not, sometimes they're ridiculously expensive. If not, just wait. And eventually Stampin' Up! is going to do something that is similar or just as good or even better than you liked, and then you can buy the new thing. Now, this paper has this fabulous linen background, which is very pretty. This looks like crumb cake, and it's, I have embossed it with that old linen folder, and it's absolutely stunning. Um, all of these things are stunning with that, with any texture embossing folder. And that's what I did with the cards that we're making today. And I'm not going to do it today because I'm not going to take the time to do it. Plus, my favorite embossing folders are retired. <laughs> and, uh, of course. Of course. Now, this one's really pretty. I wasn't going to use this today, but maybe I will. And I'm, I'm thinking I will. I like that one. Oh, this one, too. I haven't used this one yet, either. And it's really pretty. No, I think I was thinking I'm going to make bags out of these. And that's why they're, they're whole and intact. I have so much paper I can make bags from that I, I could probably sacrifice them. These are the same pattern to me, it looks like, but I'm very partial to this wild wheat only because it's kind of unusual. And um, so I, I kind of like it, it's pretty. So anyway, I'm torn on that one. And this one, this is my other favorite print right there. So that's why those are there. But I do really like all of them. They're beautiful. They're not real flowers, and I actually prefer that. Um, I've discovered that when Stampin' Up! does real flowers on their DSP, they're so beautiful that I cannot cut it. <laughs> it's like, um, I don't scrapbook, so I can't keep the whole sheet as is. And I hate to cut this apart because it's so pretty. And then I, sometimes I don't, I'll later, I'll go in and find, I didn't even use that. It happened to be my favorite piece. And then I didn't even use it because I thought it was so pretty. I didn't want to spoil it at all. I think I might use this one. Now, this blue is just okay. I'm not sure why I don't care for it as much, but I like that side better. All right, we are going to do simple, simple, simple today. Simple, simple. I'm so glad I, I didn't have anything complicated planned. Wasn't sure how I'd be feeling. I never know these days. And um, 
Overall, my I am doing very, very well. Do appreciate the prayers, though, for complete and total and all never-ending healing. And then I pray for God, please just take me real quick when I'm on my time. I'm ready to go, like right now. I am ready. But um, he will take me when he wants. I just like it to be quick and painless, like everyone, of course, would like that. And I trust him. I ain't telling you. I trust him. He's good. He... He is going to do exactly what I would want him to do if I knew everything. So let's just take, uh, I'm because I like this so well, I wanted it to be a skinny card. That's why we did what we did before. And then I ended up using, I think, some different sentiments because I wanted the sentiment to be large because I'm not doing all this stamping with these images because the images are here. So I really do not want to use all these images on top of these images because my favorite ones are these two. I have other flower stamps that I like better than these two. So I knew I would never use those. I never will. Um, this stamp set will be long and hidden from me and I won't even know it exists. I'll be trying to find this you've been on my mind sentiment and thinking where where is that so i'm going to go ahead and do another long skinny one i am going to have to go this direction because um i see that I, that is not a straight line cut there so we're going to go this way and i'm going to do three and a half inches this is a little skinnier than some eight and a half by um, you know, I don't know you, I can go, I go up all the way to four and a half sometimes, although that's a little on the fat side. You need it to be, um, more like, uh, certainly not bigger than four inches wide, but we're going to do, what did I do? Three and a half, I believe. Yeah. Three and a half. And I'm going to do an eight inch card. So I want this one to be seven and a half. Okay, so that's what we're starting with that. And then on the other one, I'm going to just go ahead and do, oh, that's so cute. We're going to do, <laughs> stay focused, um, this one. We'll do this one just a standard, standard one. Now look at your print. They're always different, and there's always a spot on it you like the best. This one's randomly stamped. So uh, it's not too hard for me to find. I think... We're going to go, we're going to back off on the Moody Mauve. I was going to do a lot of Moody Mauve today because I do like it and I don't use it a lot, but I actually prefer this winter white better. So we're going to go ahead and do a four and a quarter inch size card. So we'll do a four inch cut and that's going to get rid of almost all of my Moody Move. Mo Mo Moody Move? <laughs> all right. I actually want this flower on it though. So we're gonna cut it here, and then I'm gonna cut the um, the the length, and then I'll and then I'll trim this side because I want that flower in here at this point, and this one here, and then the, this is just gonna look better on the card to me. Maybe not to anyone else, but to me. So five and a quarter because we're gonna go up to a five and a half, and then I'm gonna trim this side. Back down to the four. Ooh, I don't really want to get rid of that flower. So we'll we'll do another trim over here and get that last little bit right there off. And that is going to be our background. Isn't it beautiful? With these papers, they're so nice, so easy. You can just make cards like lickety split. And um, that is uh, not that's not not a joke because um, sometimes. You know, you, I have tons of cards because I do them all the time, but it's very relaxing for me and I like it and I, it's always fun. It's nice to be able to chat with my friends that like to do it. They pray for me. It's always good. Now, this is going to be uh, early espresso or something, though, so I probably won't be using my copper clay. But I am going to be using this for sure for this background. So let's do this one. This one's going to be three and three-fourths. And then this edge will be eight. I think eight. Did I? Let, let's see what I did. I kind of forget what my measurement was here. No. It's 
going to be, I must have done seven and a half here. So it'll be seven and three quarters. This is gonna be a little bit shorter than some. I didn't want a full blown skinny, skinny card. I love it. Now, if you don't like that edge, sometimes people, you know, or sometimes I will even look at that and think, I'm not sure. I can't see it quite clear enough. Sometimes another contrast can be really nice. This is boho blue, which is not in any of these colors, unless you want to count the gray, gradated, gradated, um, moody or misty moonlight that is this blue. But I don't have any misty moonlight handy at the moment. Let me look here. See if I do. So I have a hard time finding misty moonlight sometimes. It's kind of hidden in here a little bit. Somewhere. I know it's in here somewhere. Where are you? Are, am I running low on you? It's possible. Huh. Wow. No, not really. You're just hiding. Like usual. It's a dark blue, so it oftentimes likes to, to hide back there, and it does look a lot better doesn't it? So I think I will do that. That's going to, that's going to raise everything a bit. Huh. <sighs> I guess I can do it. It's going to make my card a little wider than I wanted it to be. All right. So we're going to go um, to four inches here. And then we're going to go to eight inches here. Let's get the side that's been somewhat damaged off and then we see how that looks layering is a really easy way to just make a lot of popping happen to your card super easy to do you just have to have colors that match your dsp and be ones that you like i'm going to leave that outer one i think much smaller and so I need to take off an eighth of an inch on each of these sides, which isn't as easy as it sounds. An eighth of an inch and an eighth of an inch because I tend to take too much. You want to have just a tiny bit. If it's going to be dark like that, we'll take just a tiny bit off. There we go. That's perfect. All right, so that one is ready to be mounted, and then we'll do our stamps, and we'll be done with that. Um, where? There you are. We're going to do the matte background for this one, and I think I'm going to need... I could use this but I do think I might want to have another contrast and I don't want it to be copper clay. We're gonna use early espresso on that. Yep, I can find, now that one's easy. I don't know why, but it is. Oh wait, is that, yeah, there it is. So early espresso is quite dark and nice. Let's see if I want it here. Usually I like the darkest color on the very background, but not always. It depends on how striking that other one is. Sometimes it's really, really bright. Like this one. This is like a standout one. And so I think I'm going to do that. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to trim this just a tiny bit more since I'm doing that. I'm going to take another quarter of an inch off there and a quarter of an inch off here that way I can more easily mount this two times so for this one we're gonna go three no we're gonna go four and no let's not let's do this let's do a, a small one and see what it looks like yeah four is fine so we're gonna go four inches and if you have commented and I haven't, co it's not because of, I, my, my page doesn't show me anything. It doesn't show me anything. I, I would have to change the, sh the settings on my Facebook, just plain old Kathy Crow to see anything. I think that's what the problem is. And I can't do that because 
I share once in a great while, not often, but once in a while I share our grandkids' pictures on there, and I don't want those going to just in general Facebook land. So um, I can't um, I can't change those settings on it. All right, so then this one's gonna be your four and a quarter by five and a half. And now we're we are ready to go. We're ready to roll. Jeff and I had so much fun going to Bucky's yesterday. It was like an impromptu. The day was so beautiful. You wouldn't know it by looking out there right now. It's so windy and kind of cold. And it's warm. It's actually warmer now. Um, but it's pretty windy. I can see that the wind is doing what it often does. So uh, wind, when I say it's pretty windy here, um, uh, it, that just means it's a nice wind. It's pretty strong, but it's not that big a deal. Um, because when it is a big deal, it's a tornado wind. And then I'm not even probably doing this. And if I am, I'm somewhat pe petrified and probably not doing it. And then that doesn't happen all that often. And then it's just breezy, a light breeze. Um, so wind is just like tremendously different here than it was in the Tri-Cities. It's, uh, I, I'm, it's hard, unless you've lived here, you have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, so there's that, and there's that. I do really like these combinations. Let's get some white card stock out. We'll get our stamping done. Um, now I'm limiting my colors, since I'm definitely going to probably need that, but I need early espresso, not that copper clay. I hope my stamp pad's okay. This one's been acting weird. See that? So it's uh, it's doing okay, but it's like, I don't know how long you're going to hang in there. And then I'll need boho blue for this other one and probably nothing else. So I didn't need any of those because I can definitely stamp my flowers with um, early espresso for this one. I still might use... Um, Yeah, I don't know. I might just use I might use Stampin'. I think I'm gonna er use early espresso. We're gonna do we're gonna do the stamped off the second generation stamped off method. That way you can get you can get one ink pad and you can get the variety of as many colors as you want. You just oh these are all the ones I've done that I thought, oh I might use those, but I'm not throwing them away, but I haven't used them, so we'll see. Now you can see the flower dies, so it does cut out those little flowers. Um, I don't think I'm going to use the the dies today. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp our sentiments, and then we will stamp out the whole thing. I don't know though. I might change my mind on that. All right. So here is our first biggest flower. I have no idea what this is. To me, it looks like corn flower. So I just decided since you don't know at all, Kathy, really what it is, I, I don't even find out. Now see, that's not really inking up quite right. Let's see what it's doing. Oh, but that's pretty, isn't it? I like it. I don't even need to do any others on that one. Let's do a... <laughs> You're probably thinking she is not all that great at planning things, is she? Um, Let's do... um. Let's do one more here, like, no. It's so nice as a single. I kind of don't want to double it, but that does look pretty good. So when you do the stamped off second generation, it's just gonna be a lighter color of the same hue. It's quite nice. And you can do another and another and just get lighter and lighter and, and it's nice. Now, the textured one, if I wanted to add any texture, I could behind my sentiment. Now, I have bigger texture stamps, so I'm not going to be using that. That's way too small for me. I probably never use that one. They do do um, do do. They they do stampin up does um, you know textured stamps pretty often. So hang on to the time when you can find a really good big one. Sending happy thoughts. Don't you love it? This is going to be so cute, but I'm trying to think how am I going to, how are we going to layer these? Now let me find the actual die that we'll be cutting out because one is inside another and this one's pretty small. This is a big one. There's a, it's actually a frame, which I'm not 
thrill necessarily with frames. Sometimes that makes it a little more complicated. So I think the frame's gonna be with other cardstock. I can see that's not going to work. There's this nice little ribbon one though. Also a frame. So that would have to also as well be some kind of a contrast color. And then this is the sentiment. And you can see it's not big enough. Yeah, that's why I'm using the other ones too. But this is the one that's going to fit for probably this one. So we'll we'll do a different sentiment for this one and then and I'm going to figure it out for that one. So we've got You've Been On My Mind, that will fit. But you know what? You've Been On My Mind, that's too depressing for me. Um, I'm not using that one. It's an okay one. It's fine. But I actually could use a thank you one because I've got, I've always got a lot of people. I should be saying thank you to. We're going to bring this down here. Hmm, let's see. How do I want to do I want to put the flower on my thing. Do I have room? Barely. Barely, barely, barely. There's going to be room. So we'll put the thank you right in here. I sure hope that inked up good. It did. So we've done that one. Now we're going to get, um, I'm going to get a, either a different sentiment to fit here. Because this, um, this, this background paper, this is not like happy paper to me. Am I wrong? The, all of these papers are really beautiful but they're muted. To me, that doesn't say, that doesn't scream hilarity happy. And um, that's partly why I do think that you've been on my mind is quite appropriate for this. And it's good if I'm gonna be sending somebody a card that they've been sick, but that's for only mildly sick. If somebody's actually seriously ill, um, no, you, you need distraction and you want something like uh, actual, actual hilarity happy. At least that's for me. So I could do, if I wanted to do it, I wanted to see how this was going to work with these frames. So I haven't done that yet. In my cards, I just use these together. They have all these layers, What they don't need to be separated out. But you can see this one does lay on here quite nicely, and it's bigger. So it would be one that I could use with this. Oh, it's too narrow. I can lay it on there though. It's still gonna be not working quite as well. Actually pretty well though, pretty well. Let's see what the next size up is gonna be. And I can see, oh, where are you? Next size up, hmm, that's pretty big. That one's not gonna work, that one's too small. That will work here, but I don't need it to do that. All right, let's try this big one. Let's see how you will, will look. Ah, that's much better. Now it does cover up my ruffle on the edges, but I can trim this down and do it there and there. That's actually perfect. So we're gonna use that nested die with the original wild flower frames. So now I know this is the die I'm using. Let's see if I can see what I can put in here with my flowers so that I don't have to um I don't have to do any any fussy cutting or die cutting with that one. So I think we can use our thank you again. I'll just get two thank yous here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been needing a lot of thank yous lately. People are so good. All right. Um, so the, the Bucky's. Bucky's, I did not expect a lot from Bucky's. Jeff and I, when we first saw that Bucky's was going to be here, we went out there, I don't know, it was probably in the winter last winter. And thought it was open. I thought it was open. I said, oh, I think Bucky's is open now. So, and it had been a while. They've been open a while. I never go first off because I don't like crowds. And um, so we drove out there, but of course they weren't even opened. And we looked at the place and saw that they weren't even quite done with all of its construction and knew that I had failed again <laughs> on getting the information correct. Jeff is, I'm, I read better than Jeff. He's, I'm like a very, very fluent reader, very fluent. 
Um, but comprehension, no. If I want to actually understand what I read, I have Jeff read it because he's good at that. I'm like, oh, I read it beautifully. I understood most of it. I think I got it all. I got it. I got it. I got it. And then we'll go back and he'll say, no, I don't think, I think it said, and I was like, no, it didn't. It said, oh, you're right. <laughs> okay, I am going to cut this out with that. And then this one, we're going to cut out with this one, gonna have to, we're gonna work it here because I don't wanna cut off those flowers. So I'm also gonna be using the die. First of all, I'll use this die that is for the flower here and we'll just cut the edge. We're not gonna do much, we're just gonna cut this edge and then I'll cut the rest of it with this and not cut the flower off. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about here in a minute. But I'll just cut this in half right now so we can do that. And then we will get going. This is the fun part. If you don't like to color, this is really, really fun. Fun, relaxing, super easy. Not hard to do. You do need your cutting, your, your embossing machine to do all of this. And believe me, it's worth the cost. Very, very worth it. I'm gonna cut the second generation one off just because I don't wanna mess with it on this one. And we're gonna put it over here like this. It might not even cut it off, it's pretty close. So we will just see what we get. Um, so I didn't expect much. We'd been there to see Bucky, so I knew how big it was and how many gas stalls it had. And to tell you the truth, We've been at so many gas places that are really big loved ones, you know, big, because we travel a fair bit to see our kids. And um, isn't that cute? And so um, I thought, yeah, I wonder, I bet that's not filled most of the time. I bet most of the time those are all empty. So this would probably be a really good, I mean, not all empty, but a lot of them empty. So this would be a good place to come and get gas. Now, where did I, oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, so we want to cut this flower out first. Let's see, I think I can put my nested die away. I'm, I'm not using this, right? I don't think I am. So let's put this one away before I accidentally get it in the wrong thing. Because I do, I do put, if there's enough of them, I will put its name on there. So this is stitched nested dies. And you know what? I am going to. I'm going to be transferring this one into this one as soon as, as soon as uh, Wildflower Designs retires. We're going to put the little buds right there. We'll cut it out. So I was shocked when we went and saw all those people. I was thinking, are you kidding me? All these people are here? This is incredible. They are all getting gas here. The, uh, the, all the gas things were filled. Almost. I mean, there might have been one or two. I'm serious. I couldn't believe it. And then I saw the store and thought, there's, there's tons of people in that store. What are in the world? You know, why? <laughs> What's so worried about Bucky's? I can't believe it. And so we went in there and I was still feeling like, ah, oh, it's not going to be that great. I told Jeff, you can get a picture of me with that Bucky. Or you can get, we'll get a picture of the statue Bucky's in the way. I'm not getting a picture with Bucky today. I do not need to do that. And then when we left the store, now you're just going to need to tuck your, you get your flower out, tuck it in under here, see if it'll fit. It might. And if it does, then you can just go ahead and cut. If it doesn't quite fit, you can always snip, snip probably a little bit more with your scissors just so you can get this big enough. But this way, I don't have to try to do anything with it. It's gonna cut and not cut my little flower buds off. Okay, very cute. So anyhow, there were people standing in line to get their picture still with, with Bucky. Not not little kids, adults. And I thought, huh, that's funny because I was thinking I'm not doing that. And then we went in and I was just stunned. Isn't that cute? I mean, it could have been sticking out more and more on the bottom, but other than that, it's very cute. Now we're going to want to use that same, your whatever, you know, your color combinations are with these. Might as well just cut them all out and we'll just see what we get because 
until you actually do it. You won't really know whether you like it or not. So just do it. Just cut it out. Um, where? There they are. So we've got this one. I think these are the ones we want. So we'll want, we'll want a pretty sharp contrast here. So we're going to do two with this. And then we're gonna might need some more of this color with the misty moonlight. We'll do we'll do the dark one with the ruffle first. Okay. And then we'll see what that looks like. We went, so we went to the store and I just thought, oh, you've got to be, I know I expected it to look like a big giant loves. And actually those big giant loves are pretty nice. I like those. I was, oh, you've got to, I hate it when it does this. I forgot it's a frame, but we're going to keep that. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but here's the frame. Isn't it pretty though? Oops, let's put it with this. There are little lines in it and it's, it's super pretty. We're going to put that over on the side. I don't think I need another one of those. We'll keep that out. Um, good, I don't even have to clip anything here. I do need another, I need this one with this. Okay. And um, <laughs> we were shocked at the variety of things. Now in a loves, you get pretty much the same thing doesn't really matter what loves you are in. You could be in a one in California. You can be in one, if you can find one in California, I might add. We are always coming from the east across the desert in, and it's sad, very sad, in how they do not take care of their truckers at all going through that way. Um, that's so cute. I love this ruffle, it's so pretty. And then you want the big one for your other contrast. So we've got, this is my contrast for with this one. Let's see if I can work it. Get my scrap off there. Oh, are you big enough? I don't know. Maybe, maybe barely. Yes. <gasps> no. <laughs> you don't think you're quite big enough. Not wide enough. I'll have to go get another piece of wild wild wheat not winter wheat wild wheat at least it's one that's easy to find because it's way in the back here in my little scrap pile all right now i can just easily cut that So you go into loves and you think, oh good, oh, the first few times I did it, I thought, good, this one's going to have different stuff. I've seen everything because, you know, when you're traveling a long time, one or the other of you, you take turns who's doing it that needs to just be absent for a while and you are needing to take some time to look at everything in the store and um, you find that you get to know the uh inventory very very well so loves has the same stuff i'm sure bucky's is the same way but i haven't been to bucky's enough to know their inventory so i had a great time and frankly it is very varied much more so we've been to a lot of uh, mom and pop type uh, gas things because they have more of those along the way when we're on our way to california as I mentioned, that that loves is absent. That's good for the mom and pop ones that are around. There aren't enough of them is the problem. But um, they do have a lot of variety. Like there will be a lot of Native Indian, you know, Native American uh, things, handmade things. But I, mean, I forgot. I need to go in my little collection because I think I picked something up for our grandkids <laughs> on, a, on our last California trip. That we, I was like, oh, that is so cute. I'm kind of getting that for whichever, whichever one it was for. I don't remember. All right. So now we're ready to see if this is going to work. So I'm going to, I don't, as you can see, I don't put anything together for a while. Because <laughs> I like to see, am I still even doing it this way or am I doing it this way? Because um, it just depends on how big your, your um, 
your frames are. It's actually a pretty big one. I think I'm going to have to go this direction because originally my card was going to be like this. But um, because this is pretty wide, I don't want it covering up my flowers. We're going to go like this and we'll do this. And, uh, uh, you know, here's another thing I am. I'm very tempted and probably I'm going to do. I'm going to cut out out of the DSP this bud layer it on here. It's too cute. I don't want it hiding back there. So we've got that one. And then, then th no, 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 no. Oh, did I not? I didn't do the brown though. I did a blue. I didn't want a blue. <laughs> I did the wrong color. Okay. I need the brown, that espresso brown. So let's do another one so that I have it. Thankfully, we have our scrap right here. So I can do that. And we'll get this blue one out. Oh, I, I need my little pick tool out. Okay, here you are. I, I'm keeping the, all these tips now. I've got them really handy, like right there. I got a new holder for my little, little things, but that a bunch of little things. So, okay, so they're all right there, and which has been really helpful because I can keep the little tips right there. I don't even, I, I don't even use the actual tool all that much anymore. I just use the tips. Um, <laughs> I do use the tool when I'm using that clay tip. Other than that, I don't think I ever use it. It's just too much trouble to screw things in and out of its tip. So I just don't. I've got other tools that do the job for like an exacto knife and whatnot. So I might use it once in a while, but pretty rarely. I just get these out, these little tips out. They're very handy. Just these little tips. All right, so now. But I do, of course, use the roller brush a lot. You, if you have an embossing machine and you're cutting anything, you have got to have the roller that rolls stuff out. Okay, so that's going there. And then, and that's not going there. And then this one's going here. Like, no, 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 no. What have I done? Uh, I'm going to go like... This, no, what am I doing? I don't really know what I'm doing. Let's see. This is going to go back here like that. That seems awfully wide. I don't really, I don't like that. It's too wide. It's like way too wide. Um, that. Yes, it's so wide. I, I don't want to cover stuff up. Yeah, I'm not happy with that frame. Let's try this. Let's see what happens if I do that. Still covering up. That's why I'm going to have to fussy cut those flowers out. And I'm not doing that right now. Okay, so we're going to do, we're doing, we're doing something a bit different. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And since this is skinnier than, we'll layer it on there. And I could layer it on this and that might work. Let's try it. Let's see what I like, if I like that. Yeah, it's nice. I do like it. And then you can raise your frame. It makes pretty simple going. Okay, that is going to be fine for that one. Uh, it's not turning out exactly as I expected, just because I didn't think. I thought these frames would be layered better onto this. So this is another place that my nested, the old stitched nested dies. I'm going to, I think I'm going to be utilizing those so much more with this these, this set. I'm going to have to figure it out so I can write it down and know exactly how I want it done. This one is nice. I can put it anywhere. It, all of these little, these, they're not corn flowers, I guess, since these are white. I guess. I don't know. But let's check this out. Now the top and bottom would work, but no. Too wide. You're like super way too wide. Way too wide. I don't, I don't like. <laughs> I didn't think, this is not, this has almost never happened to me before. It's like, are you kidding me? Um, This part I love, 
But these other parts are just, they're too, it's too big, but I'm going to use it anyway because it's like, no, that is not working right. <laughs> okay, the width is fine. It's just the, 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 this dimension is like super way too much, way too much. Huh. It needs to match that better. Why is it not? That's that's frustrating. Um, I thought I did a, a contrast ruffle and I didn't. So I guess I didn't with the blue. So we will get brown instead like that and that. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. I can put this on top. But I'm, I am, I am not as excited about it as I thought I would be. That's why I used the other labels when I made my cards, because I don't like this. This is fine in here. Let's do it like this. We'll tuck it in and have this uh, out. See what I think. That way you can kind of tuck it in as much as you want. Yeah, much better. And then I'm going to trim. This is not how I would recommend doing it. Um, personally... I will just always be using these with it. And in fact, these right now are going to be going inside with the, such dies. And then I will label wildflower dies on one side and my stitch nested dies on the other. And I will call it good. All right, so now that I know how I'm doing this label, I can assemble everything together very quickly. It goes fast. Now, the only thing I'm missing here is the embossing. I do think, because it's usually, uh, if I'm going to use DSP as my background paper, that means I am not spending a ton of time making the card. It's not hard to do, and um, I can make that, make it extra special by just putting, you know, embossing this DSP. If it's a DSP that will lend itself to it. Some do better than others, but this this is just definitely a kind of an old-fashioned paper print. Looks great embossed. Okay, very nice. And then this one we're going to put flat down. I could put ribbon with it. Um, I, I think twine might, might look better than ribbon. They do have really, really pretty um, twine that's the color of our in colors. So these are the in colors from last year, the boho blue, wild wheat. And then they have them all in um, this jute trim. And I bought two packages because I'm going to be using a lot of this wild this winter wheat one, wild wheat, I'm sorry, that one, you're not going to find that color too terribly often in the store. You'll find something close to it, but not necessarily it. I'm not going to use a ton. I'm going to use a little, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tie you on here like this. Okay, maybe up high right here. I don't know if I gave myself enough to do a bow, but we'll give it a go. If not, I'll just knot it. Because then I can always put a bow on it too, later, if I want to. So I'm not gonna struggle with this. It'll be really low, and this is thick. Um, the other, th or low. What am I saying? Little, little teeny tiny. The thing you can do, this twine is so thick, and this is a tiny frame. Um, I am going to separate this and make it a bit easier. And then I typically don't like to do that just because then I end up with these little straggly pieces that I don't use. And Anyway, but it does, I like, I like it to be frayed at the end. It looks great, doesn't it? You guys do too, I bet. All right, so there's just two. I could do another or even just put it in. Even now that it's separated, it's smoother, softer. I'm going to be a little easy. It does make kind of a mess there. Let me do that. 
but all the little ends are cute. So even now, if I knot it instead of dye, um, doing a bow, it, it is going to look a little bit better. It's raveled. It, one of its <laughs> raveled edges has not come through and it's <laughs> killing me. Yeah, I don't know how it got stuck on it. So it got stuck on itself. I don't know how it did, but it did. Of course. There we go. Okay. Try it again. How did you get stuck on yourself? You're just all one piece, I thought. I'll put it down this time. See. See if that helps. So I was so happy with Jeff. He went through that whole Bucky's with me. We saw so many things that were actually good deals. He kept saying, can you believe, look at this. This is not a bad deal. This isn't a bad price. We just thought it was all going to be, you know, like those are usually super expensive because you're on the road. And I'm not saying it was, it was cheap, but it was reasonable. And in other states, it would be cheap. Okay, you're kind of cute. You're a little, little bit scruffy. Okay, this now can go, I think knotted would be better, but we're going to just leave it now since I've done this. And um, dimensionals. I do want this one raised because um, we're going to, again, we're going to tuck this in here, right? And hmm, let's see, how am I doing this? I forgot. Oh, yeah, I'm tucking it in. And then we're going to put, I don't have to use dimensionals. We're going to use dimensionals on the other bit, though. I think I can just glue it down. It actually is going to look a little better with dimensional, so let's do it anyway. I did bring them out. Oh, good. I think I've got some little black ones. These will work fine. Oh, little white ones. That's better. All right, so we'll put the little white ones on here. I think they'll fit. I hope they fit. Let's see. Perfect. All right. We went through there. He did not purchase anything. I did see some, he, he's the one that whenever we, I do love going to antique stores. It's super fun. And you always find something really cool that you want to buy, but you can't buy all of it. You know, you, not everybody doesn't want this stuff. And I don't, even this house isn't, is, is huge compared to our old one. It's not huge by most people's standards, but it's huge for us. And, um, you know, <laughs> it fills up quick. As soon as we had been to just a few garage or yard, uh, la, antique shops here in Missouri, and especially down there at Branson, um, I didn't have room for any more outside, but I don't want a lot of stuff outside. And, um, and if it's really cool, I want to look at it inside and I don't want to be storing and bringing things in. And I used to do more of that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that here. I'm trying to make life easier for us and me, not harder. So, all right. So my, I've got glue on my, <laughs> I've got glue on these. So it makes it harder to get it off of the actual tweezers. Okay, I'm just going to go like that and that and that just to get it started. And then my fingers can get it off pretty quick. Well, since I've been taking all of the vitamins I should have been taking all along, my nails are much nicer. Much, they're, they're much stronger. I mean, surprisingly stronger. They're not strong. They're still very weak, wimpy nails compared to most people, but... They are so much healthier. I feel bad for my body in some ways that I didn't know. Any. I thought I knew everything about health because I grew up uh, as a uh, vegetarian and thought we knew everything about health. And boy, I learned I was wrong. <laughs> I, I wish I wasn't such an arrogant slob. And then I probably would be a lot healthier right now. But I am. I'm get, I'm better. I'm better. Not not great, but better. Okay, now I can trim it, and then I can stick it on, and that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to just go ahead. I'm going to trim around my little flower. I could get out my um, cutting machine to do it, but I think, frankly, that will take longer 
than me just doing this. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna poke this in, see how far over I want it to go. And then I think I'm gonna just lay this on top. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna cut out those edges right here, like this. And then I can keep most of that there. And then this is gonna just lay on right here. And that actually, I'm satisfied with that. That's pretty good. Anyway, so Jeff is the one that buys stuff. Uh, in the antique stop shops, partly it's because he feels bad, you know, that people are working so hard and then all these people come in and look and never buy anything and he doesn't want to be one of those. He wants to be somebody who's supporting the local business and I was all on that too when we first came. It's like, oh good, I'm glad he's buying stuff because I wanted this and I wanted that. Well, now I don't and I'm thinking, you, we can't afford, even if we buy these things, I do have tons of room. We could shove it in somewhere, but I don't want to spend that much money on stuff we don't need, and I can't give it away <laughs> to people. Oh, you are so cute. Look at you. A little, couple of little beads, dots. All right, let's get this one done. This one's going to be a little easier. I don't have to fussy, fussy, fussy with it so much. You know, I'm standing, leaning over, and that is deadly for me. Why am I doing that? I thought I might have to cut more out, and I think that's why I am doing that, and I'm going to stop doing it right now. Oh, that's better. Feels much better. Okay, so we'll put this here. Got my regular one-quarter inch border going, which is a little easier to layer this onto. And then our paper. So yeah, we got through there, didn't buy anything. It was sweet, but I did see a lot of stuff I would have liked to have bought, but I'm just not, not gonna buy it. Jeff saw a hat and he thought he was gonna really want this hat. He's not a hat guy necessarily, but I think he would kind of like to have a really cool hat. And like a, not a cowboy hat, but a, just a kind of a rancher's type hat, but that's nice. The one that he, he keeps for show, you know, not, not one he's wearing and working. He doesn't want it curled up at the brim. And we had just seen, so it wasn't working and he didn't like it well enough, which was fine because I thought you'll never wear it anyway. I mean, we could get you a hat anytime you want, but... I know you, and you're going to think you're going to wear it, and then you're going to go to wear it, and you're going to think, man, I'm not going to wear it. I could be wrong, and then he, and then I will be wrong, and he'll wear it when I'm thinking, you know how much you paid for that hat? Why are you wearing it? Why You're sweating in it. You're ruining your hat. Why are you wearing it now? <laughs> you know, something like that. Now, I am probably all wrong about it because he probably wouldn't do any of that, but... This is my experience. Uh, we've been married a very long time. And the problem, there's one problem with having been married a long time. If you're like me. And, and since, since you're probably more, more like most women, you're probably not all like this. So it's, it's all good. And you've only got sweet, wonderful thoughts all the time. But for me, I know him pretty well because we married when he was really young and I was really young. So we think about each other as our 20-year-old selves. I was 19. He was not 19, but he still was pretty young. And um, I've matured a little since then, and he has too. He's not the young, the young teenage boy that I still sometimes think he is. <laughs> so I think you're going to ruin that hat. You know you're going to wear it somewhere that's going to ruin the hat. You're going to be, you'll think you're not, and then something will come up, something will happen. You'll have to engage in it, whatever it is. And then in the process, something's going to happen. You're going to ruin your hat. 
So anyway, I wasn't thrilled, but then he never buys himself anything. I buy all this junk, this stamping up stuff for myself all the time. So um, I am never going to tell him he shouldn't buy anything because he will not ever spend any real money on himself at all. And so we're going to put it over just a little bit because I believe I am. Let me look, make me get a look at it. Make sure it's straight. Um, cute. I do like that. That's nice. Now this is the inside one. So I know it's going to fit in there. I kind of should have laid it first, but it will fit. You just kind of have to force it a little bit. So when you get your glue on it and stick it in there, get it in quick. Because um, your time is a tiny bit limited with maneuvering it around and you don't want it to be weird in there okay so that's that now this is going to have to have a dimension on it right few and then it's all going to be nice and, and level you could glue it right down and that looks nice too i did think my flower was going to come out on the side remember i was doing that well it's not and I could trim that bit that I've got there, but I am not going to. I'm going to just go ahead and glue this on. And I think it'll look better this way if I do that. And if I had known what I was going to, if I'd known my plan, I wouldn't have cut that flower. I would have just left it because it's going to be small enough to look good. I think I thought it was going into the other, um, the other label. I think that's what I thought I was doing and didn't. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. You can color it, but does it need it? Absolutely not. Especially since we've got all these white flowers. The only thing I might do if I thought, um, I, it's a little too much white in there. I might mask it and then sponge a little bit of color on there. That would have looked really good, but it's too late to do that now. You would have to do that before the label was, was, uh, was in, assembled and in. It won't, it won't, uh, You'll, you'll sponge stuff you don't want to sponge otherwise. Um, the only other thing I can count on here to make this better are little bobbles. The little um, embellishments. There are always really cool new embellishments in every catalog. Now we have a new catalog coming up in January. And um, I haven't seen it. I bet it is online now but it might not be yet quite either. I like these. These are really pretty. This is pecan pie and clear, but that's not pecan pie, but I think it'll still work. Um, let's see what else we've got. Oh, I do like my cork ones. Those always look pretty good. I haven't used very many of those. Hmm. Then there's... These are gorgeous. I don't see the name of it. Oh, there it is. Adhesive backed milky dots. I love that that winter wheat. I don't know if that's our winter wild wheat, but it's sure pretty. Opal rounds assortment also will look really good with that. Hmm. If you want a metal, there's always those. Those would look really good too. In fact, I might use these. These are adhesive backed metallic gems. Let me see if I have one that's open already. I do really like the milky ones too. These are milky. Faux glass dots. Those are, I think those are more muted. And we can do that. I like browns and I like um shiny when you know sometimes but not always so we'll put that there and there and we'll get these I don't even know if these are available but they might be again this is one of those kinds of things I cannot keep track of the um, embellishments come and go so quickly like I, I, and I have so many as you can see I've just got tons because I never use a ton of them when they come out and um now here is one spot that it is very nice to have this tool because of the spatula. That spatula is really handy because these just, they fly all over my desk if I don't use it. This is how, when they fly all over my desk, they get stuck to the bottom of my foot. So no kids, we did not get you any Bucky's souvenirs, but we were tempted because they were really cute. 
and we will in the future, I'm sure. The, that Bucky Beaver, he is so cute. They have so many stuffed Bucky Beaver things in there. They have other stuffed things too, but the Bucky Beaver ones, I thought they had a Bucky Beaver Christmas Santa Claus. He was so, so fun. He has little teeth. He's a little fake Santa beard. <laughs> he was cute. I really liked him. And I do think I'm going to put these pecan pie. Well, then it's pop. It's not as early espresso, but it's going to work. All right. Thank you. I'm going to put my thing down. We'll see that and again. Um, don't forgive to... Don't forget to give God the praise. He's the one that does everything good in our lives. The things that we think we set up. Yeah, the what I thought was going to turn out is probably not, but something even better, better than I ever would have imagined did. And, uh, and I am so, so pr happy, proud of God for always following through, even when I doubt him, and I always do, it seems like. Although I'm trying, I try hard not to, and I keep saying the prayers and saying I have faith, but the truth is at moments, you think, yeah, I don't really know, because I can't tell the future, so you don't know. But you do know Christ. He is good, he's faithful, he works everything out for our good. He does. It just doesn't always look like it. All right. So that is that. Thank you. And thank you for joining me. I would put these on a card base, of course, five and a half by four, um, eight and a half, and then scored it four and a quarter here for this basic one. This ended up being eight inches, I think, long. I, I could measure it right here. Eight inches long. It ended up being uh, three. Oh, it should be four. It's not quite. It's really a little bit bigger than three and three-fourths inches wide. So given that, I would go ahead and just lay this on my base card and score it where it needs to be and fold it and then cut it to get the exact width because I didn't end up getting the exact measurement correct. But anyhow, thank you so much for, for watching. Thank you for sharing. I hope that you are having a wonderful day and that you have sunshine and you get to go to a Bucky's. And yes, when we came out, Jeff said, just go get your picture taken with a Bucky beaver over there. Nobody was there. He was just standing there like he didn't have anything to do. And then the guy that's standing there, <laughs> there was another guy standing there who looked really bored, kid, you know, really bored. And I thought, he's taking pictures. I'm not paying for a picture with Bucky. And Jeff said, no, I'll take the picture. He wasn't taking He was just standing there. And he gave us a little sticker, a little Bucky beaver sticker. That's what his job was. And I felt so sorry for him. So I was glad to go over there and cheer his day up by letting him have a picture. I'm sure he didn't care at all. Did not cheer up his day. It sure didn't seem to, but they let me have my picture with Bucky. And so there you go. Now I, now I have that. If you were my friend on Facebook, you could see it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll see it in a newsletter. All right. Thanks again for the wonderful day. You have a fabulous week. And coming up is Thanksgiving. Next week, I will be doing mm, something Christmassy. You see this stack of cards? These are the ones that I'm getting to. But probably not next week. Let me see what, oh, you know what we're doing next week. Oh, you're going to love the decorate, decorative trees. Oh, my goodness. I have had so much fun with those. They, I made way too many of them. And um, I don't think I can get them all in the newsletter. So make sure that you go to Pinterest if you want to see all of those. Eventually, they will make it there. I haven't got it on yet, but it will eventually. And that's what we'll be doing next week. So I'll see you then. Bye.